like when you buy a house you care about like where you live and how it looks and things like that I don't live somewhere with HOA but now I can kind of see why people do live somewhere with HOA especially because my neighbors are wild and they are wild and like when I tell you the things that they do I will have to we'll see how much time we have today but um that's a really weird intro I don't think this video is gonna have an intro I'll just kind of talk oh I think they're gonna leave I don't know I really don't understand what's going on the rain is falling really really strongly I think they might be leaving Anywho, I'll try to edit if it's too loud. Oh, okay, here we go. We got some action. We got some action. We got some action. They're getting into the truck. Okay. All right, I'm going to mute really quick. And now we're back. I apologize. I was just sitting there with the mic muted and I was like, watch me unmute. And that's when they decide to take off. They were literally just sitting in the truck. I'm so confused. Well, let's get into the video. So, we're just going to talk about some neighborhood tea. So, let's talk about the headline. <laughs> the name of the video. Essentially, yes, my neighbor. Well, technically, I don't know if he's my neighbor. You guys can judge in the comments. Thinks I stole his chihuahua. Yes. I have two dogs. I have a Maltese and I have, I just got a Frenchie, and oh, on my like little, um, I can't even think of the word, in my absence off of YouTube, I lost my dog, my, my, my dog Chewy, who I rescued like seven, eight, eight years ago, I lost him, like literally, he got out, I don't know if I talked about it, but essentially he got out of my backyard, he dug a hole, it was like June, we were out having dinner or something, and they were doing fireworks, and I usually always put him inside, but he like dug a hole and escaped, and I was, never found him, him and my other dog escaped, but I found my Maltese, but I never was able to find my dog Chewy, so RIP, or you know, hopefully he has another home, then my poor kitty cat, when we moved, back to my hometown we had to temporarily live in an apartment for a few months while our home was com you know finishing being built um the reason why that happened was because our house sold so fast um and our home was like delayed for building and things like that so we were apartment living for a while that's one of the reasons i was never filming because it was a mess and half of our stuff was in storage and my filming stuff but anyways tangent so I have, um, oh, I didn't even talk. Okay, so let's talk about my cat. That's why I started talking about that. So my cat was, couldn't stay in my apartment. My dog could, but my cat couldn't. So my mom was taking care of my cat and my cat is used to being outdoor, indoor. And for some reason in my mom's neighborhood, there's a lot of stray cats. So people hurt cats and it's really sad. It's ridiculous. But my cat, we try to keep him in as much as we can, but sometimes he will escape and he escaped and he must have got poisoned or something because he started just out of the blue, like acting really funny. And I thought he was just kind of like hot. So like literally the day we saw him, the first day we saw him like that, we were alarmed. And then we contacted the vet and they couldn't get him in that day, but they said to come back. And by the time we went to go back in the next day, he had already passed overnight. We think he was poisoned. Um, I don't know. It, it was so sad. I didn't want to get like an autopsy. I don't even know if you can, but um, it was just really sad. So I'm saying that because now I only have two pets. We have my Maltese and I recently got a Frenchie and I might show him at the, or show her at the end of this video. So I do have two dogs and the way our homes are built behind my house there are a few like I would say like older houses that have been there for a while and then I'm pretty sure that people the developers bought this land to build homes so I don't know if they felt some type of way about it or whatever so the people behind us they are have an older home and one thing we did initially from moving in was our houses are a little higher than their houses so like I can like see their 
window like it's weird I can kind of see into their house a little bit so my uh, my husband like built a 10 foot ex well he built up onto our fence like a 10 so it's gonna be it's like a 10 foot fence now it's like um something so that's kind of the first waves that we made with these neighbors was that I don't think they liked that we built that 10 foot uh, ex I don't, I don't know why I'm calling it 10 foot but that like extender shade thing it looks really nice it's not ghetto looking but I don't know if they thought it was weird or something but essentially I don't like to have blinds on my big windows um in my living room area um because I like the natural light so like I just felt like it was safer for me and my husband and you know whenever we're hanging out especially because they can see into our backyard and into our windows and things like that so we built that and we didn't have to ask them permission because there is like a foot of space in between their fence and our fence um and eventually I want to put a cement fence around my house well like in the backyard just so it looks nicer but for now I feel like this is what we're gonna do for now we're kind of house broke you know oh my god my friend she's in here snoring <laughs> sorry I hope that's not too distracting if anything I can wake her up and I'll hold her maybe I just forgot that she's in here <laughs> but anyways so when my husband was building that like installing it he noticed that there was a hole in the fence of their house and since we moved in to this house or like even when we were coming in the construction phases we always would see some stray mangy dogs and I didn't even know they were chihuahuas like now thinking about them like maybe they're long-haired chihuahuas but they're not cute they're mangy like they literally are missing hair they look mangy and I love all animals so I'm kind to them but they're mangy and we've noticed that they dig a hole underneath my neighbor's fence so we always thought they were my neighbors but come to find out they're actually the people that live directly behind us my husband found that out because he was fixing or he was installing and he saw that there was a hole and he actually saw the dogs like going through the fences so anyways so that's how we discovered the dogs and like where they came from and who they belonged to and also I think like if I were to go outside a lot, I would know because I hear them barking at night, but I always assume they were coming from the neighbor right next to me, which is another new house, not the person behind me. So I want to say like a few days ago, or maybe like three, four days ago, I was getting home from work and it wasn't late. The sun was still out. So it was about like, well, I was, I, I did run some errands after work. So it was a little later. It was like closer to seven and I'm like pulling into my neighborhood and I go to the mailbox because I usually get the mail on my way home from work and I'm pulling into the mailbox and I'm like parked in front of the mailbox but I go around to my passenger side to get the mail key out of like the door and to get the key mail and then also go through the mail on the passenger side and this is the driver's side and this gray car like pulls up right next to the driver's side of my car so like I'm this is my car this is the other car they pull up like this and it looks like they were like looking in or maybe they're on their phone like if they're lost because it's a new neighborhood so sometimes it doesn't pop up on maps um so sometimes like delivery drivers like for um like uber eats or doordash or postmates things like that um they might get lost anywho so I was thinking it was just that. So then they ended up just driving off like they were leaving the neighborhood. Because one of the good things about this neighborhood is that there's only one, like there's only two entrances and the neighborhood just wraps around. So there's no exit point. Like pretty much if you don't live in this neighborhood, there's no reason for you to be driving through unless you're visiting, delivering, or like, you know, you're, you're just driving through the drive through But like, there's there like it's not a shortcut to anywhere <laughs> like it actually if you come in here to cut to the other exit to get to the other street like it's gonna take you longer than just to go and turn on the other street so anyways there's no reason why people just drive through here so then um they were just stopped at the exit and i was like okay maybe they're lost again like they're just probably pulling off somewhere where there aren't cars so then I get in my car and I start driving towards my house, which is about a few, like, 
maybe like around the corner from the mailbox and I, I start driving to my house and as I'm pulling into the driveway I notice that that gray car like turned around I open my garage and then I'm like driving into my driveway and I see that car literally drive past my house stop in front of my house do a turn into my driveway and I'm still in my car and I'm like about to to like you know turn off the car and I start freaking out and I'm like are they pulling into my driveway like what is going on so then I'm like maybe they're just turning so I didn't think anything of it so I shut off my car and then I see them literally like go into my driveway come out and like reverse and park right in front of my driveway like blocking me in and that's when I freaked out I'm like oh my god should I just shut the garage like would I have enough time to shut the garage because they're close enough where they could just run up and make sure that the garage doesn't shut um I was like, should I lock the door? Like, I, I really was panicking. I didn't know what to do. Mind you, I did have my daughter in the car with me, so I was panicking. My apologies. You can probably still hear it, but someone in a Subaru drove by, and it sounded so loud. Anyways, uh, right in the good part of the story, I apologize. So, so as I'm, like, panicking, I locked the car door. I see the door open of the car, and I see a man and a lady and then like I start hearing a kid yelling so I'm like oh, okay so immediately I kind of like relaxed a little I'm like maybe they're lost or they have a question or because this is new construction a lot of the times there's people coming to sell things like um well we already have solar in this house but like you know more solar um uh, anything they're you know improvement things so I was like maybe they're just coming for that so I walk, I just was, I just like, let me walk towards this man because he's just standing there. So I start walking towards that man. I left my daughter in the car um, and I locked it because uh, I had the key because I was just freaking out and she was fine. She was on her little iPad um, and the man's like, hablas español. So he said, do you speak Spanish? And I said, si un poquito, because I do speak Spanish, like conversationally sometimes, but not super fluent, you know, um, by any means. So I was like, si un poquito. And honestly, I can understand Spanish usually better than I can speak it um, and read it better than I can speak it. So anyways, so then we were, he was like, okay, and I'm going to translate. He said, mira, uh, yo vivo ahí detrás de ti y quería saber si tú he visto un perrito. And, I, and I'm looking at him and I'm like, okay, so he's saying, hey, I live behind you and I wanted to know if you've seen a dog. And I'm thinking, okay. So I'm like, this is my neighbor behind me. He just clicked. And then I'm like, uh, donde? Or I said, where? And he says, he said, por aquí en esta calle, around here on the street. And I have seen their dogs walking around on the street, but I did not want to engage. Like, I was scared. My husband was at work. I didn't want to engage. So I said, no. I said, no. No. And he was like, okay, pues, era que yo vi un hombre ayer y tenía su teléfono y estaba buscando un perro en mi yarda. Oh, a car passed by, sorry. And he said, it's because there was a man and he had his phone, which I'm assuming he's saying, like the flashlight, in my yard. Um, yeah, in my yard. And then I'm thinking like, okay, like what does that have to do with me? <laughs> and then I just stared at him and I can hear my dogs barking because we're home, so they're excited. So I'm like, okay, maybe he thinks th that the barking is his dogs. So I said, señor, yo tengo perritos. Pero no son chihuahua. Yo tengo un perro blanco maltese. Y tengo... And then I thought, like, should I say I have a Frenchie? Because people be stealing Frenchies. So I said, yo tengo un otro, un otro chiqui, chiquito perro que no, que no es chihuahua. And then he's just staring at me and I'm staring at him. And I'm just like, okay. So essentially what I said was that I have two dogs, one's a Maltese and one's um, not a Chihuahua, like I didn't want to say it was a Frenchie, I forgot that I need to translate, <laughs> but anyways, so then he, we're just staring at each other and then he looks at me and he get, again and he goes, okay, pues, um, el hombre me dijo que estaba buscando un perro y que vive detrás de mí y tiene una troca roja, and then I'm looking at him like, and I looked to my left, I looked to my right thinking, is there a red truck on the street? And then I said, um, no sé qué 
tiene una droga ro roja. So he said like that the guy supposedly that was in his yard said that he lived behind him and that he has a red truck. So I'm looking for a red truck. And then I just said like, you know, I don't know who has a red truck. And then we're just staring at each other again. And he said, um, lo que es es que yo pienso que alguien robó mi perro. And I looked at him and I said, hmm? He said, well, listen, what I think it is, is that someone stole my dog. Pretty much he like accused me, I'm assuming. And the reason why I think that is because I have a red SUV. It's like wine red. And then he rolled up on me and blocked me in my driveway. So all roads lead to, I think he's accusing me. So as soon as he said that, like it clicked and I'm like, um, Hmm. So I said, Mira, señor, yo no tengo tu perro, okay? Um, necesito ir adentro. Y ayer mi esposo estaba trabajando y no estaba, no estaba en la casa. So I told him, I, you know, I told him like pretty much that I don't have his dog and that yesterday my husband was working and he didn't come home to my house. So there's no way that like, you know, he could have been looking through his yard for some dog and stole his dog so then as soon as i said that the lady like kind of called him back and then he said okay okay bless and he took off when they drove off i just like i felt icky like i felt kind of scared and icky because i feel like he was like pressing me thinking i took his dog and like whenever he pretty much said that he thinks someone stole his dog it was like he was accusing accusing and then i really started that like <laughs> That spot is bugging me. He, he was like accusing. And I just, I didn't like how they blocked the driveway. And I don't know if that was intentional, but it like pissed me off. Like the more I think about it, even now it pisses me off. So as soon as that happened, I called my husband and I was telling him everything. And, you know, my husband is away for work right now, but I didn't want to tell them that, you know, he's going to be home uh, soon. But like, I didn't want to tell him that. So I just said that he, he wasn't home last night or whatever. But like, dude, I was panicking that night. I like put my alarm. I had the cameras going. I just, I was scared because I was like, maybe they think that my dog, like they hear my dog barking because my friend, she stays inside throughout the day. And my other dog, she goes in and out. I have to keep my friend, she inside um, because she literally likes to eat random things and I want to protect her, so she's not allowed to be outside if we're not around her. But anyways, so I'm just like, does he think that the, my friend G is his dog, you know? And then in my head, I'm thinking, even if you were driving around and you thought it was us and you heard a dog barking, if you looked through my fence and you saw my dog, like, you would know I wouldn't steal your dog, like, not in a bad way. I don't want no mangy ass mutt, you know? Like... I, I wish the best for those dogs because I'm pretty sure what happened was neighbors got tired of, of them digging under the fence and like roaming the neighborhood and literally making messes because this is still a construction site. There are some homes that are still being built. So these dogs literally go and take trash from the construction sites and bring them to like the roads and the streets and they're also pests. Like I... I mind my business for the most part. <laughs> I'm nosy. But I don't care if the dogs, like literally the dogs shit, poop. They literally poop in my yard and I will pick it up and I don't complain or anything. But I have been telling my husband that we should post on the next door app in hopes that someone will see it and think, damn, like I need to watch my dogs because I don't feel like going over there and knocking on the door and talking to them. Like that's weird of me. I also thought about maybe leaving them a note or something. I think I went on a tangent. 
even when they were building our homes, I've seen them, um, like thinking back now, like I can, I remember seeing them, but I didn't really like think anything of it. Um, and then again, I thought it was the neighbor's dog for so long. My, like my, my left side neighbor. And, um, yeah, so it's just weird, weird encounter and it bothers me. Oh my God, my Frenchie. And it bothers me so freaking much. Like I am so pissed off about it still. And, you know, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Like, what do you think I should do? I know I have like high security at my house. Um, like super high security and I have a panic button and everything. But like, honestly, I just felt uncomfortable that like they would address me like that. And then another thing too, it's like, I've never been accused of doing something like, you know, it's like they didn't directly accuse me, but it was kind of like hinting at it. Um, and I really have not seen those dogs. I really think that they're in animal control and they probably don't want to, well, I don't even know if they know about them, but I'm like, why don't you go to animal control and look, that's the first thing I do. I go on the website, I go in, I post signs, but they didn't, I don't think they care about those dogs. Those dogs do not eat. They are starving. That's why they come into this construction yard and literally eat trash. But I was going to say some more stories, but this video is getting too long, so I'm going to do a part two. I also have some more videos coming, more of the Nickelodeon series. I have a Drake Bell uh, video, and I'm going to do Amanda Bynes. And I do have some true crime coming once I finish the Nickelodeon stuff. Um, and then obviously the next neighborhood tea because I have just scratched the surface That's just the tea for the people behind me and I got a lot of tea about the people. I'm like oh, That's them coming back Is it? I don't know what that is, but it's really loud and annoying But I got tea for the people right diagonal like across the street from me that I was watching when we started this video <laughs> So I got lots of tea for you guys. I think I'm gonna add a little clip at the end of me and my Frenchie but I love you all so much. Have a good night. It's been nice to be back, and I hope to continue to make some videos every now and again. Um, but, you know, they're not going to be professional quality because I can only film when it when I can. And right now it's during the day when all these cars are passing by in the rain. I love you all.